I was told that the head is a woman. Outdated information. Mm. Masha, my friend, she said I should go only to her. She saved her and her baby. Well, you don't have a choice. Tell me, why did you stop seeing a doctor? Have you been diagnosed with something? Yes, and offered to kill them. They're Siamese. Monochorionic, monoamniotic, and conjoined twins. Yes, and maybe they can't be separated. It was explained to me that they can be. Three legs for two, one head. I understand that people will look at them like freaks. But my husband has already run away. No, but life is, you know, it's just, um... Barbara, come on. We'll see at the ultrasound how serious it is. Girls. Yes, girls. They are joined at the stomach. They have one liver for two, but based on what could have been... Will you be able to separate them? It will only become clear after birth. But one thing is certain, you need to give birth immediately. If they grow even a little more, the operation will be difficult without traumatizing either of you. Can you or not? We've got two cases here. One is better than the other. We never in the history of our center had to separate Siamese twins. In fact, there are very few precedents. That's one. And two, a celebrity Meridiana with amniotic fluid leakage. The big question is whether to leave her here. So far, she is satisfied with everything. Trusts a particular doctor, but I give you my word, if, God forbid, something goes wrong, she will smear us in the press. She will. Sir Ruslan, what do you think as head of the department? Okay, well, regarding the Siamese, we're going to have a very difficult cesarean, and it's still unclear how to get them out. Plus, there may be serious blood loss. And besides, I'm sorry, but I don't see a neonatologist at our center who could carry out the subsequent operation of separating the babies. Well, yes, if it's at all possible. Regarding Meridiana, the situation is completely unpredictable. Yes, we can monitor daily blood counts, and we can give antibiotic therapy. We can give steroids to help the fetus develop normal lungs, but it increases the risk of infection. Then, at this term, we get chorioamnionitis, or very early preterm labor. The baby may not survive, and it's unclear whether she will fall pregnant again. In other words, you don't want to keep any of these patients on your ward, is that right? Yes, that's right. Look, I realize we have had miracles. We've had crystal tasia, we've had prolonged pregnancy with three fetuses. Yeah, well, we also had babies die. Exactly. I'd like to remind you, colleagues. A lucky streak can't go on forever. Your thoughts, Natalia? I'm all ears. There is a chance of good outcome in both. Ah, uh, yeah. And it's not your policy to willfully surrender. We're aware of that, of course. Andre? So when she was a shield and accountable for everything herself, you supported her crazy ideas with me. And when you had your own head on the line, you got cold feet. It happens. I'm ready to perform surgery on infants. I've already contacted Chuck Vitazzi from the Neonatal Surgery Center. Well, Chuck Vitazzi. There's no need to explain who Chuck Vitazzi is. Well, in short, she's ready to help. Yes, and about Meridiana. There have been cases where they... delivered babies in such situations. There were. Let's not overthink, let's just do it. Statistics or people? People or statistics? Okay. Natalia, can you assist Ruslan? No, sorry. How are you, Barbara? Would you like me to call your daughter? No, 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 don't. She's near her time now. There's no need. It's just an unnecessary worry. All right. I'll come and see you tomorrow morning. Mm. Good luck. Do you know why they would call conjoined twins?
twin Siamese. The first conjoined twins were born in Siam in 1811. That's what Thailand was called, Siam. So, um, they were not even burned as the devil spawn? The mother refused. They were taken to America. They worked in the circus. Then they bought a farm. Married two sisters. <laughs> they built two houses and lived for a week at each of the wives' houses. <laughs> One of them had ten children, and the other had nine. Normal? Normal. Hmm. Listen, I, uh, I saw a movie about the girls like that. I don't remember a circus name, I think. Kravashi Leopold. Yes, 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 yes. Masha and Dasha. They had uh, one body, two heads, and three legs. When the mother saw them, she went crazy. And the father, who was Berea's chauffeur, signed a death certificate and disappeared. For 20 years, they studied them like rats. And then they were released. They drank themselves to death. You know, when one of them had her heart stopped, the other one lived for half a day. She thought her sister was sleeping. Am I wrong? Tell me, am I wrong? Doesn't every life have to be lived? We're not in the 50s, Barbara. They'll be able to be separated. <laughs> How do you know? I know. Rustlin? I'm kidnapping you. We're going to celebrate. Whoa, whoa. What do you mean? Bastille Day? You have five minutes to change. Hmm. All right then. On the shore of deserted waves, he stood full of great thoughts and looked into the distance. What are we thinking about? It's not going well with us. With Andre or Ruslan? Stasek, do you want a blue eye? In short, it's like we have nothing to talk about. He doesn't want to talk about work. I don't want to talk about the future. It's unclear what will happen to Mishka. Well, maybe it's not about Mishka. So who doesn't want it, you or him? Stasek. So it's you then. Are you going to tell me what we're celebrating? Remember, Jean? The Wonder Boy I told you about. He'll recover, and we've beaten the hypertension. <sighs> Wait. Isn't he on a placebo? Did you s switch the medicine? <laughs> <laughs> Do you realize what you've done? My hope is that I saved a human life. You ruined all the results of our program, which allowed the center to stay afloat somehow. It was our only chance with the city health department. Do you hear me? The boy will live. You know, I don't understand. When Bukmativa goes against the rules, saves Jehovah's Witnesses against their will. It's okay, you're jumping for joy. So you only did it to match her? I have to, don't I? Mishka. We're here. We need a house urgency. Come on, let's make a house. Come on. Come on. 
My hands don't tremble. Милый друг, я так хочу тебя So, are you going to give me a nuclear war? Like, who did I leave this with? But why? You do what you think is right. Natalia, you're scaring me. Stop. I... just wanted to apologize. For acting like an idiot after the... Sex. It's called sex. sex. Good you didn't wait a year to talk about it. You know, I've just never cheated on anyone and... And I just felt like it couldn't happen to me. And I was just really scared. And I felt like I was alone in the world and here I am. I can see that you feel the same way here. Don't go on, I get it. I get it. It was just a life-saving therapeutic act. People did worse things during the plague. It happens at funerals too, you know? And the fact that you didn't want to talk to me, well, we're all human. We're all scared sometimes, you know? Even the strongest. You didn't tell Olga? To end things with her? Is there anything else you wanted to talk about? Or shall we go? I have an operation. Uh, take me on as an assistant. If I fail, Kal McGraw will back me up. How could I ever refuse you? Well, colleagues, medical professionals, God be with us. If everything works out, I'll put a candle in the church today. By the way, why is your paper about twins? I've been writing this paper for two years and you've never asked me this question. Are you trying to remind me that I am a selfish individual? Yes, I remember that. Shen, can we try to slowly switch to a better relationship? We can. I'm one of the twins myself. My sister's lungs didn't open. Our Obnins hospital didn't believe in miracles. So miracles never happened. You got it? I got it. Let's see. Would you look at that? Both are stable. I'll take it from here. That's why you decided to become an obstetrician? No. To get close to you, to gain your trust to shatter your life to pieces, like you did with Mom. So what's stopping you then? Because there's nothing to shatter.
Yuri, did you call me? Uh, did I miss the change of power? Or was there a velvet revolution? Have a seat, Ol. Komogorov asked me to ask you a question. Okay. Jan Savitsky's father asked him about a heart transplant operation. Yuri Alexevich looked at the paperwork and was very surprised that a child who was officially receiving a placebo suddenly began to recover. He had a word with the attending doctor and suddenly found out that it turned out to be your favorite patient. That you have cordial conversations with him, bringing him books. After that, it wasn't that hard to put two and two together and find out that you were switching drugs. Yuri Alexevich, you say? Kolmogorov would never have engaged in this story. He understands very well what kind of investment the center is getting through this research. It's a gold mine. Everything he needs. So it was you. <laughs> you know, Inga, I have one question for you. Go ahead. Why do you need this? You want me to go back to Germany and break up with Bazanov. <laughs> oh, look, this is both stupid and ridiculous. I'm almost married, and I don't give a damn about Bazanov. Sure. You know, my life experience tells me that people who don't give a damn don't get so worked up. You know, Inga, I'll do what I think is right. After all, I'm not fired yet. Olga, tell me why. You're smart. Why would you risk your own career for a dubious chance for someone else's child? You don't understand. Mm -mm. I'm glad. Whatever you think the opposite is good. I take it I can congratulate us all then? My period hasn't come. Nauseous in the morning? Mm. Sometimes it's like spouting vomit. Sometimes mm. I want cucumbers, or ice cream, or kill someone. <laughs> <laughs> and imagine all these joys on holiday. <laughs> At least your breasts got bigger. A whole size up. <laughs> Basically everything is as it's supposed to be. Then I now suggest a confirmatory ultrasound, and then a plan of subsequent action. Yes. I'll be waiting for you. Darling. I really want some cocoa. What, right now? Please, I'm desperate. We'll tell you everything later. Okay, I'll be quick. No need for an ultrasound. Don't worry so much, everything will be fine. There won't be anything there. Well, I'll try. Stanislava, I'm not pregnant. Excuse me? Just don't tell him, please. Doctor, you have the material for the second IVF. Two embryos are frozen and waiting to be transferred, but he won't agree to that. He's a fool who believes in signs. He'll get on a train. And that'll be it. No goodbye. He really doesn't need to know all that. We will just say later that the labor is late. And then if the second one isn't successful, what will we do? Stick on a belly and order children from Cambodia? Stanislava, please. I'll be 40 in September. And I'm already not marriage material. You understand. And you know what kind of woman float around. But here's the man of my dreams. A book publisher from Moscow. And honesty in a relationship isn't welcome? Stanislava, our relationship is more important. Doctor, I'm begging you, please. Yes, yes! Uh, what did I miss? No, nothing special. I was fired. Notified by email. They said they were extremely disappointed in my professional and personal qualities. 
What a bunch of bastards. Olga. Look, I'm sorry. I acted like an asshole. I'm about to turn from a doctor into a moron administrator. I really admire what you did. Do you still have any contacts in Germany? Mine won't help me anymore, and Jan needs a heart operation. I can't drink anymore. Well, are your joints and muscles already better? Look, brother, untie me, please. It's all stiff. Or do you want to deal with bed sores? I will definitely untie it. But first, tell me what you have learned about life. That life's a bitch? Didn't you know? So the password's correct. I told you once that the best remedy for withdrawals is physical exercise. Physical exercise, you see. Oh, that's right. Oh, easy, well, how easy. are you here? Okay, we're okay. It's just that I almost got killed. Where are you guys hanging out? There, Bagmichiva with Bagroff. We're torturers, but not to that extent. Guys, bring it in. Cool. Aren't you afraid I'll file a report? Where to? The European Court of Human Rights? You will, just pedal first. And then, you will file whatever you want. There'll be a trial and a bright future for you. Now go ahead. Oh. Easy. Oh. Come on. Are you being serious? Absolutely. Come on, come on. Enough. Nino! Hello! <laughs> oh. Long time no see. Mm. Uh, please welcome Nino Davidovna Chakvitadze. We've known and respected her for many years. We're her admirers. <laughs> Likewise. I apologize for being so late. But let's keep up the pace and get to know each other in the mm. process. Is the operating room ready? Of course. Please. Are all the young ladies still crazy about you? <laughs> <laughs> well, in situations like this... Spill it! You know me, it's <laughs> been the same problem for years. Surrender myself entirely to your will, and every hour of this day instruct and support me. Whatever news I receive during the day, give me the strength to accept it with peace of mind, and the firm conviction that it is thy holy will.
It all works out. They were separated. Masha and Dasha. You know, you are a miracle wear. Hmm. Yes. There's nothing to compare it to. Giving a second life. I'm going to Moscow in a couple of months to open a new medical center. Mm-hmm. You're lucky everyone is closing down. Will you come with me? Neonatology is a good thing, but you're capable of so much more. Separating a liver without bleeding is like going into outer space without a spacesuit. Nino. I've got a situation here. Hmm. I heard. The woman, the son. Well, you've got your hands full. <laughs> I'm not telling you to go to Siberia. Think about it. Hmm? If anything, I know how to wait. Good day to you, too. Let's run away right now. <laughs> Don't joke like that. Take me to your lab. I really don't want to be in observation anymore. First of all, nobody wants to work in observation. And as for the lab, I'll have to cut four people anyway. I can't. What a terrific success. Congratulations, Yuri, but that's not why I invited you here. When you agreed to come back here at this time, we had agreed to set a deadline. Mm, Six yeah. months. Mm -hmm. And now the time's up. Well, it seems it's time to summarize. <laughs> right, right. Along with the fact that you've had great days like today, there have been others. Death of a nurse in the line of duty, then you have this mess on your ward. Children, almost school children, who had to do surgery and it almost ended in death. And then there's the disruption of the drug research program to top it all off. <sighs> Sounds like a verdict. It's not your thing, Yuri. Well, not yours. Not of your scale, not of your mind, not of your talent. Well, Gena, listen, don't do this. A letter of resignation? I'm very glad that we seem to understand each other. No, you can continue to work in peace for a month. And if I had to ask you to name a successor for yourself. Natalia Vladimirovna Bagmetyeva. Oh. But you broke up with her a long time ago. We broke up a long time ago. That's why I can be objective about it. Oh, yeah. It's an invitation to a wedding. I hope you'll come. Uh, I will definitely come. Of course I will. Thank you. Well, all right. And Gina, just for fun, do me a favor. Ask your fiancé who she would see as potentially being the new head doctor. I am, of course, no fortune teller. My prediction is she will name Rosalind Bazanov. She recommended him as the head of observation, didn't she? Ever wondered why? If I were you, I'd take an interest. And better before the wedding. I can't get hold of Zenka and I have to leave. How are you? Can you hold out for a couple hours? Where will I go? Great. If you need anything, call me or the lady next door. Sorry, but I locked you up. Thanks for the apology. Posh, it's not for me.
I realize all the credit usually goes to the surgeons. But you were impressive. Go on, go on, go on. Well, to intubate two babies lying not on their backs, but on their sides, well, I think that's a great feat. All right, I'm off. Dina, listen, Dina, can you wait for me? I'll change quickly. We can go to a restaurant somewhere. <sighs> no, thanks. I don't feel like I'm... Dina, I understand you. I have the same thing. To return to the flat where... No matter how much you clean, Asi's lipstick will suddenly appear, or Dasha's toys will jump out from the attic. So, you know what I mean. Are we like twins now, or something? O o orphaned twins? Are we twins? How can you compare? Well, you can take a plane at any moment. At least for a while you can see them, but me? Where is the plane that will get me to Semyon? You have Dasha, and she's yours forever. And you can call her, write letters to her, talk to her every day, but me, by the way? In two weeks' time, Marushka may be taken from me. Forever. And then I'll have no one left at all. And you're comparing us. D. Dina. Sirioga is. Have you seen Sirioga? Sirioga, yeah. hi. Oh, look who's here. Hello, hi. Got anything? You insult me. That stuff from last time is rubbish. I've got this new stash, bombastic. Just a sec. What's wrong with her? With who? Don't worry, she's fine. You're about to get the same thing. Is she pregnant? Pressure's low. Listen, I gotta go soon. Are you gonna take it or are you playing doctor? What are you doing there? There's a quiet fetal heartbeat. Do you have a, a sensor in your ear? We need an ambulance. She's about to give birth here. Listen, man, I have to go. But don't you dare call an ambulance here. Or the police. Nobody in this town will sell you anything. You want this? Help me carry the girl outside. Her? <laughs> Guys, help me carry the girl outside. How about now? Why don't you double it? Then we have a deal. Where to? Outside. What's the name? Stasic. Not yours, her name. Amka, I think. What was it? Withdrawal? You know, some people just don't know when to stop. She can handle it. Careful, careful. Oh. Let's set a date. The end of September. Natalia. But we... We agreed. So far, Mishka isn't very well. All right. He's fine. You know, I've been offered a job in Moscow. There's nothing keeping me here either. Oh. Uh, what about... What about your love for Bazanov? You know, when I was in the military, they used to say that there were two types of fatal mistakes. Being a D minor and marrying a woman who doesn't love you. You're joking now, aren't you? I wish. 
You want me to tell you for the 158th time the story of a friendship of 18 years and some drunken sex? You misunderstood. If I wanted to, I would have been with him a long time ago. <laughs> yes, of course. At least since coming to Peter. Wait, what are you saying? That I became attracted to him when he became unavailable, yeah? I'm saying that for you. Love's a drama. You like it when everything is on the edge. That's why there was Kamalgrov. And then I showed up. And Ruslan. With him, everything was easy, simple, free. And then you even wondered if it was love at all. It was as if he was. All yours at once. Everything was too simple for you to take it as something serious, but actually it was serious. Do I have to pay you for a session of psychotherapy now? No, don't. Are you happy with me? You know, it's been very difficult for me to be happy lately. I was just asking a simple question. You should know that I hate being pushed to the wall. I fucked Shania. There wasn't anybody younger? Are you a doctor? No one around. Where's the nurse? What's going on here? Overdose. Give me a gurney. Now! To Latini, to the Center of Practical Medicine. Who the hell are you anyway? Why are you bossing me around? I'm a doctor. Easy, help me. She's gonna choke. All right, napkin, napkin. Yes, 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 yes. Easy, easy. We should give her a shot. Uh, amniocin? We need an antidote. Call the center. Tell them to prepare an emergency cesarean. Suspected fetal hypoxia. Come on, hurry up! Misha, hello and goodbye. Alexei Nikolaevich. What? What are you doing here? It's not your shift today, is it? I know. I'm in a hurry to set up a drip for someone, Misha. Ah, so it's true what I've heard about your house clinic. Oh, they don't keep their mouths shut around here. What clinic? Lushka, you're good. Mm, come on. Okay. Not everyone can. Well, don't be cross. You know what it's mm -hmm. like. Well, how's Oligovich? Mm, who knows? Yes, by the way, there's an ambulance coming. A drug addict almost died in the car, and I have all the doctors on call. Leshka, can you take it? No, I'll leave her to die. That's it. I'll find something for you to put on. How are you doing yourself, Alexei? Like a popped pimple. I understand that our champion has left. Lesh, try not to get upset. It's always like that with patients. Today like a member of the family, and tomorrow nothing. Expecting an overdose? Are they gonna make oh, it? I don't know. Judging by the conversation, the paramedic there is quite young. But I think some decent doctor passed by, so I hope she'll make it. Let's go. Come on. Забери меня из ночи, прямиком из темноты, из всех темных мыслей. Stay here. Из этой пустоты я теряюсь в ночи и забыл твою боль. Я найду сто причин, чтобы не быть собой. Не спрашивай, где я был, ты не захочешь это знать, как я сжигал эти дни, и не дай мне соврать, 
I am the terror that flies on the wings of the night. I'm the Black Cloak, by the way. You're the Prince of Persia, but you can't scare me like that. Huh? Choosing who to recommend to the patient? Uh, Russian, 33 years old, gray eyes, dark straight blonde hair, doctor, a hobby is music. Not Bagarov? <laughs> the age limit for a donor is 35. Oh yeah, he's a mixed Russian like me. <laughs> okay, uh, this one. Jew, 29 years old, brown curly hair, lawyer, hobby is reading. Intelligent and a nerd? We should get that one. Or this one. How do you get pictures of adults? They only give baby pictures. Are you choosing for yourself? Wine? Then... What are we doing here? Hmm? We're having a really nice time together. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Baby boy, 2.30. <laughs> Breathing on his own, surprisingly alert. It's a miracle in such circumstances. Well done. You saved her. It was literally a matter of seconds. She could have choked or suffocated or worse. I have no idea how I remembered the whole protocol. Schooling. Roslyn. Mm-hmm. I want to go back. Seriously. No tricks. Like today, right? Anyway, I don't have any vacancies, I'm sorry. Yes. Until the end of the year. The house is yours. Can I still visit Mishka? Yes. Stasik. This is Sodom and Gomorrah. Hey. I'll suggest they rename the cafe. Potatoes, yes. For the last month, it's been my favorite 10 minutes per day. Not to mention the hour when I play with Mishka. It's just withdrawal syndrome from your breakup. Have you found a donor? No, I haven't even opened the file. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe it's a real relationship. Natalia, after he finishes, He's gonna go to Africa to break new ground. What do you mean? In obstetrics and gynecology. Can you imagine me in Africa? Easily, actually. It's very much like an excuse. When I was young, studying at university and was very much in love with you know who, that's when I was ready to fly to Africa or Antarctica, even to the moon. Love was that strong? Did you have anything between you? You mean sex? Hmm. Bakhmet Siva is jealous of Bazana for me. The world has gone mad. I'm getting a tattoo. No doctors. Forehead. On the forehead. Me too.
Natalia Vladimirovna, oh. hello. Hello. I was told you're not in consultation today. Will you take a look? I'm everywhere. And you, by the way, promised me. You promised me that you'd come in every few weeks. Do you remember that you are at risk? I never felt so great during any pregnancy, and I had one business trip after another. So I could go on leave in peace. Let me have a look at you. It's a good thing you talked me out of it. I thought my life was already predetermined. Not so much as a mom, but almost as a grandmother. Well, of course, a woman, but... Not a mom or a wife, that's for sure. Business coach or whatever. And then... Suddenly, all my ideas about myself, about my life, about the future, just washed away. And you know what? It's so beautiful. I wish I could agree with you. Why is that? Look here. What is it? It's a tumor. Tumor? Sacrococcygeal teratoma. Is it serious? There are cases when the neoplasm does not cause any harm to the baby and can be removed after the birth. And other times, the tumor grows very fast and then the strain on the heart increases too much and the fetus develops acute heart failure while in utero. And it kills the baby? Yes. Apparently I have the second case. Judging by the fact that we didn't see this tumor last time, it's really growing fast. So what do we do? Uh, we have three options. First, we terminate the pregnancy. The second one, we don't do anything, and we just wait. In which case, we have to realize that most likely the baby will be born severely ill. And the third option is we can try to do a rather complicated intrauterine operation and remove the tumor. <sighs> They've sent the tickets. The flight leaves at 12. So we're going to need to get all the guests out early. Why? Let them have their fun. Trust me, by nightfall, no one will remember the groom or the bride. When we get back, we'll have to find a place for you. Some kind of perinatal or multidisciplinary center. Why do I need a new job? Why? Didn't I tell you? No. Your dodgy center is getting closed and... Kolmogorov has written a resignation letter. The candidate for his place is not in sight. Listen, can I ask, why are you holding on so tightly to this organization you were kicked out of with a bang? It's just the center is not like any other hospital. Really? The people who work there really care. Do you really think so? Then who should be appointed chief physician? Bazanov, for example. Bazanov, for example. I've studied his CV. It's an excellent CV. A promising young man. He's got a lot going for him. Only he's your lover. Stennis lover, please. Lena? Yeah? What happened? I'm on my way. Excuse me. 